Welcome in, guys at home. If you're watching tonight, I have Trey John and Jaden in the house. How's it going tonight, fellas? Hey, yo. What's good, man? What's going on, brother? How's life down in Mexico? Living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah. I got many questions, and we'll get to them cause, uh, about the Mexico thing specifically. Because, man, I bet living down there is a whole other adventure compared to America. Uh, no, it's it super is. cool to have you guys on tonight. Look forward to hearing more about you. Appreciate you having us. Yes, sir. Now, like I, like I told you guys before we started, if there's any kind of delays or it shoots you back, just join back in. Guys at home, they're slightly delayed a little bit, so just work with us here and we'll be good to go. Just kind of let everybody know. So, fellas, you had a pretty good game last night. You guys want to tell us more about that? Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a well executed W. You know, we came out with great energy. Uh, we knew that going into our bye week, um, this was a big win that we really needed to you know help us get to where we need to get to going to enter in the second half of the season. But I would say that it was just a well executed game plan, um, offensively, defensively, and special teams. You know, to be able to really have a dominant win. Um, was able to pull away late, late in the game, but for the most part, you know, we executed what we wanted to do from start to finish. So you beat the the Dinos thirty three to seven. Uh, in terms of, of some of these names, guys, they're they're pretty crazy down there. Have you gotten used to everything? <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, it's it's a different it's a different. Uh, environment for sure so i mean you know it's just something to adjust to but i mean it's it's just like any other place honestly yeah, it's another league. yeah just another league. yeah another another play for football and you know it's the same thing gotcha gotcha so i mean tell me more about your experience so far and just how you got there when you guys can start and kind of just lead into it i mean you don't you don't have to spend 10 minutes telling me your whole life story but i'm just curious i guess a little bit about your backgrounds and then how you ended up playing for the LFA. All right, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and start. So, um, yeah, I'm a graduate of Georgia State University. Um, I went there from 2017, graduated in 2021. Uh, Four-year uh, four player, basically. Um, played as a true freshman and then played on until my senior year. Um, declared for the draft in 2021. And, you know, things didn't necessarily go my way in the draft process. And, you know, I um, also had a few injuries I was dealing with at the time. So I ended up having to take maybe two years off um, going into 2023. And I received a call to come to the LFA. A scout had reached out to me and another one of my college, uh, my college teammates last year. Um, so last year was actually my first year in the LFA. And, you know, I had a good amount of success in, for my first year. Um, and, you know, I just really, it was a it was a wake-up call because I didn't know if I would actually play football again after having, you know, really two years off in a sense. So, you know, being able to get back out here and do what you love doing, you know, it's a great feeling. But as far as well as doing it in Mexico, like a whole different place. So, you know, it's a blessing. But, you know, that's just a little bit about my background as to how, how I got here, at least. But, yeah, this actually is my second year in the LFA this year. And you play linebacker, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, trying to expand my game and play some more DN, so, you know, outside linebacker, get some sacks, rush on the quarterback. But, yeah, predominantly I'm a linebacker inside. Understood. I mean, in terms of your time playing, is uh, – is... Is this a good experience in terms of the things you have done in the past so far? And this is just, just for you, Trajan. Would, yeah, I would say it is um, just because, like I said, um, of course, playing, you know, um, playing in college, you know, it was it was a great experience as far as, you know, being a student athlete, getting my degree and still being able to play the game I love. But this is actually my first taste of professional, like, uh, sports. And, you know, seeing the business uh, aspect of things, like how things run as far as, you know, having mandatory community service, um, 
you know, getting paid on specific days of the week, having specific, you know, being on the time span for everything. But I would say that I'm very happy about, you know, um, you know, just the opportunity in general because, you know, I'm still blessed to be able to still play the game I love as well as be able to put some more film on my professional um, my professional resume. Understood. Jaden, what do you think about everything? I mean, tell me more about your background and kind of how you ended up getting your way. Yeah, so I um, I graduated from Rivard College as a D3 school in North Carolina um, up in the mountains. But uh, I went in from 2018 and then graduated in the fall of 2022 because I took a fifth year from uh, COVID. So then, uh, you know, I was – what it, the last season actually is what, what I needed because it was like a big breakout season for me. So um, after that, after I finished, uh, it was a lot of tryouts, a lot of uh, little combines to go to, like flying around, like until like last October, I was in San Diego for a little like XFL, little um, was it one of their showcases. And so uh, I just happened to go there. And then while I was out there, I actually got in connection with the gridiron crew and um there the, after that i mean honestly like after two weeks they got me in contact with the lfa and from the lfa there and i'm here it's my very first professional year and um but between that it was like honestly sitting a year and i was coaching um Appervard to be a tight ends coach gotcha gotcha so being a tight ends coach you're a tight end i'm, I'm guessing right <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> well, that's cool man y'all both got very interesting stories and whenever colin reached out from the gridiron crew to kind of offer an interview or ask if you're interested i was pretty excited because talking to the lfa guys are kind of hard you guys have a different schedule uh the, the service down there isn't as good for sure so it's really cool to get to actually meet up with y'all and get to know you like i said oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Yes, so tell me what's what's the atmosphere like at an lfa game because i've seen videos i've seen pictures i've seen highlights but i can't really sum it up for people that i'm trying to like uh, tell and describe this event to because a lot of people don't even know this exists until you someone tells you so yeah. kind of what's the atmosphere like how does it compare to ball here in america if i if i was to compare it, you would see it as it's a great fan base depending on what city you're playing in. Like, so I can be completely honest, like, in my opinion, we have some of the best fans in the whole LFA. Like, we 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 put out a great crowd in our stadium, in our home stadium, you know? And, you know, some stadiums are bigger than others, so they can't fill up how ours does, Um, but, you know, for the most part, the fan base is huge. Like, whenever it's a home game or a away game, there will be a great amount of fan base there um, to support whoever the home team is and sometimes the away team because, you know, these fans, they travel just like, you know, um, like fans in America do, like to go support their teams if it's just a doable distance. So, the but the way that I see it is, like, I've seen some huge crowds in college. Um but I would compare it to like, you know, like a playoff environment in a high school game. Like it's a lot of people that come out to really, you know, see some good football no matter what day, what time it is. But yeah, I love the fan base here. Um, that's the best way I can ex explain it though. Like uh, a playoff environment for a high school game. Understood. I'm gonna pull up this video I saw from yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. flag. I mean, it looks legit as it can get. Just from looking at the background of the field, the fans, the stands, and then the big TV in the corner, it, it looks awesome, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, from watching, the Dino Stadium is insane. So, is it? I mean, yeah, it was cool. I mean, they they unfortunately couldn't actually score a touchdown, so we didn't get to see all their little cool flashing lights that yeah. they usually do, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a feat in itself, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome, guys. <laughs> How many fans are, are we looking at? Just if you could guess, what uh, coming to your games, what would you guys say? Oh. I mean, I know you're not going to be accurate 100%. <sighs> it's really crazy. I really want to say we 
we have a lot of night games. And for night games, by the end of the game, it's really still to the point that I really want to say. Shit, 2000, right? Yeah, I was going to say between 1500 to 2000. Yeah. Like, if we're being completely honest, like, for our, for our, um, for our home games, at least. Away games, it'll diff, you know, it depends on the team that we're playing and how big little fan base they have. But our fan base is, I can say you can get up to about 2000. That's pretty good, man. We lost them. Yeah, it'll come back. You made it back yet, Phyllis? Here we are. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Here we are. It's all good. It happens like this with going this far, so no problem at all. I I tried to meet with some guys from the, an LFA crew. It's not you or your team. A uh, week or two prior, and we could not make it happen due to service. So, all good. <laughs> Had a comment from XF- XFL Mike G. He said, "Go Jeff Ace." Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, tough year so far, my man. man Real tough year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pray for you guys. I really yeah. hope you guys can turn around. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna be a trip too. Yeah, it's gonna be a crazy trip. We're gonna play at the Ace. I wish they had some some English uh, subtitles or, or something on there, man. Because I'll be watching these games and it's it's crazy oh, uh, sometimes trying to keep up. Uh, yeah, my my uh, a bunch of family and friends always tell me that like there's no English broadcast or nothing. I'm like, yeah, you're just gonna have to understand football and just kind of look at it and see what it is. Yep, yep. And then they get so excited. I, I want to know what they're saying. Those those people get into that announcing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they understand football, like American football. It's just the language barrier. We deal with that every day, like oh, living in Mexico. So, hearing a broadcast, you know, that's really what we're accustomed to in person, you know, in the regular life of living in Mexico, really. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, we will translate your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's my best friend right now, so I can't imagine for you guys. <laughs> 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 Since we're talking about this, they just share. Football over here. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was saying they definitely love football over here because I've noticed that flag football is famous. Like it's really big. They have like, NFL ties. Yeah, over. like yeah. big ties to like flag football. Like even at the college we stay by, like a lot of the people that play for the college actually like if you go look them up they're like followed by like 60,000 people like wow. each of them have like their own fan base often just playing flag football flag football is is the LFA it's the biggest professional football there is in Mexico correct yeah yes yes it is yeah. actually all the whole draft board and season trades Make cuts, you know, <laughs> roster, you know, you've got a roster number that you got to get down to before the season starts, sending people home. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a real deal, professional football. That's sweet, man. They've been around since 2016 from my research. Is that correct? Yeah, that sounds about right. Some teams have been in it longer than others. Cause I believe we've only been in it maybe. maybe mm-hmm. Eight years? I really yeah. can't remember. I really can't remember. They did have another league yeah. for LFA. Was, was it SoFam? Yeah, I won't say yeah. Yeah. That's cool because I wouldn't know unless you guys told me. <laughs> yeah, LFA is going to be big in a few years, honestly. It's just still up and coming. Like, you know, we're trying to get some more. Uh, Americans in it, you know, just to be able to diversify the league a little bit, you know. But yeah, I think it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of good things happening in the league. So hopefully it sticks around for a little while longer, honestly. I agree with you. Just you guys, you know, having this opportunity is, is real big in my opinion. And that that's it's awesome that you can do that. From what I've talked to, a lot of the Americans <clears throat> just go over there and shine. I mean, most of the Americans are pretty legit when they get over there and start playing from, from the people I've spoke mm-hmm. with. Yeah. No, you definitely do. The, the level difference is, I wouldn't say it's ginormous, but, like, you can you can definitely tell the difference between, like, how we play and they play. 
like there's a lot of even in the coaching i would say like you you can see the difference between like like specifics and what like translates to working best for each position especially like when i work with receivers like, okay okay that works okay that's, it seems a little a little low level there but it's it's fine i mean it's something you you, you know you come to there to to show them what you're about and what you do so i mean it's it's good though i mean it's the competition they all play pretty hard and aggressive and they try to compete so how many americans are on y'all's team right now 16 technically so last year they only allowed they allowed us to have 12 americans this year up to 16 so not every team has 16 americans but that's the most you can't have but um we were made aware that only seven americans can yeah. be on the field at a time seven out of that's 11 it. yeah can be on the field at a time oh it's not so it's not eight i don't think it's, eight. No, it's not eight yeah that's cool then yeah so last year when i was talking with folks about this league it was lower and i remember that so that's good that they raised it for, for more opportunity oh yeah yeah because it, it's i have heard a few leagues like they actually cut the number down in americans like xfl i've heard they went from four to three or four to two or something like that um and i really heard too much about the ELL. Um, like what, how many they're actually allowing this year, but yeah, I see some leagues are cutting down the amount of Americans that are like coming to the league each year for each team. Since we're talking about, I guess, how you guys have it down there so far, what, tell me what, what's some of the best parts of living and working in Mexico, especially compared to America? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll start with that. Um, so living wise, I will say that, you know, it's not a huge drop off from like, you know, having living in America other than of course your living is paid for down here. So, you know, it's not like paying rent. Um, because, you know, you're basically taking care of as far as that aspect. Um, but I will say that you're low key at times is it's a blessing and a curse because you're looked at as a superstar at times, but you're also looked at as a not even a target, but you know, a scary person because you don't look like everybody else down here. And you know, that'll, that'll rub some people the wrong way, make them want to stay away from you. But as far as the most part, it's a lot of fans. Like a lot of people, you'll take a lot of pictures, sign a lot of autographs, you know, randomly walking up the street in malls, you know, at charity events, you know, you name it. But as far as living, Overall, I love it. Like that was one of the main reasons I came back. The city does show a lot of love to the athletes, um, specifically the football team. Like I said, well, like they said, they're huge supporters of American football down here, and you know they they love that we're actually players for their for their team in uh in the city that we play in. What do you think, Jaden? What's some of your experiences there so far in terms of, you know, the best parts? Mm, I mean, I'm I'm a big food guy, so uh, I definitely I love the food that. out here. I mean, yeah, now there's not – I mean, everything over here is a lot more natural, of course, so there's not a lot of, like, processed stuff. So, I mean, you're it just the food to me is just really good. I mean, and it's a, a bunch of new food I have yet to really actually try because, you know, we have our own version of, you know, Mexican food, but, like, real authentic food over here is – definitely different but it's a lot it's a lot better than you know what i was expecting and um like you said the the community here is, is great they show a lot of love and they do definitely give you like a side eye when you're like walking like yo like you're definitely not from here um <laughs> so it could go either way it could go it could go really good so i mean a lot of times for us it's recently gone pretty well like um a couple of our, our teammates um have ran into fans in heb and they just, you know, stop and try and take a picture. They're wearing a jersey or something. Um, I mean, it's it's a fun, it's really fun. I, I love the whole community, the people, the few like the food. So, I mean, I'm big on the food and people, so it's cool. That's cool for real. I'm not gonna lie, the food would be the best part for me as well if I was heading that way. I, I gotta say. Yeah, the tacos are great. <laughs> 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 burritos, burritos. Hey. 
I can say everything is authentic, man. Gotta love it. Gotta take it all, man. Sounds awesome, guys. So right now we're talking. You guys are in your apartment, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I hear, I hear your fellows in the background, so that's why I was just curious. I didn't know if you guys were somewhere else or yeah. whatnot. My bad. Oh no, it's all good, uh, yeah. man. It's fine. Yeah, this, yeah, this is kind of the lit room, you know, like where everybody feels comfortable coming to, playing the game, talking. You know, this is what we link up at. Yeah. That's awesome. I'll definitely say the the apartment's better than my college dorm for sure. So I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all room together, I guess, as well. Certain individuals with others, or do you have yeah. your own place? Yeah. So we have like a it's a apartment of three rooms and it's three people in it. So each of us have our own little room, but three to a um, section. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. That's cool. They take care of you as well. I mean, that's a big incentive to to go play. Oh yeah, yeah. Leave your leave your loved ones and whatever job you had back in America to come out here. So yeah, you know they understand that to a certain extent that you know that they we're gonna rely on them heavily. So them giving us a place, you know, a roof over our head, you know, um, weekly stipends, you know, it's it's great, you know, taken care of at least in our situation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, even um, even our QB said, like, a, he's somebody that's played overseas quite uh, quite a lot. He's been uh, in the league like for a good amount of time. ELF, uh, X League. But even him, he even commented on the fact that like this is probably one of the best uh, living spaces that he's even been to. So it's a nice city as well. I'm guessing. I mean, what's it, what's the what's the feels like? Is it a big city? Is it an old city? Is it? I mean, what, what are we talking like? So the city we are in, uh, even like where we're living, is called Zibata, and it's like a small city inside the city. And we we sometimes we around about it. We call it like the Beverly Hills, like the view of like where you're at when you're looking. It's like it's really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, super plain. jealous. That sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> It's like multiple, like many shopping centers. Um, the view as it is, like with the mountains, seeing the sunset, and us practicing right beside the field to have this amazing view. You know, it's a lot to take in. But like you said, it is a mini city inside of the city of Caretero that we actually live in. Um, that's actually, you know, the city for the, you know, the, that the Gallus Negros is uh, connected to. And I will say that before I came out here, I, it raised a lot of eyebrows for my loved ones because, you know, not a lot of great. You see a lot. You see a lot of bad that happens in Mexico um, to yeah. Americans instead of good. But this is actually one of the safer um, cities in Mexico, like compared to Tijuana, Monterrey. You know, like uh, Delisco. You know, this is actually one of the safer cities that crime isn't. You know, a huge problem, you know, drugs, you know, everything like that. So that actually, you know, soothes our loved ones minds knowing that we don't really got to deal with that, you know, that, you know, um, that often at least. Understood. <clears throat> XFL Mike G said, yeah, is it a college campus? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jaden. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, it's delayed. So finish the no, talk. You're good, you're good. No, you're good. Uh, I was saying, I was piggybacking off of what he was saying, you know, because what, what we see from, you know, our perspective, like online or, you know, any, even on Twitter, because Twitter has a lot of just unfiltered things, especially like just everywhere. But, you know, like a lot of it, you know, you'll see stuff about the cartel or whatever. Just, I mean, they could even label it the cartel and it not even be them. But, you know, that just is a bad perspective on Mexico just in general. But Mexico is big and there's a lot of nice places everywhere and a lot of bad places everywhere. So you'll, You'll find your spots, but this place is really nice. And especially my dad being in the military, he, he's got some buddies that work at the embassy who's telling me about the place. He was like, honestly, you're in a really safe spot, so you, you should be straight. If you guys feel that way, I, I mean, I, I definitely believe you because I'm sure you've been out and you've done things. It's not like you just sit at your apartment all day. You got to <laughs> yeah. live your life. Yeah. And you both yeah. seem very happy in any, any of our conversations so far, for sure. Yeah, man. XFL Mike G said, "Is it a college campus? I guess it means pertaining to where you live." 
Yes. Basically, so basically yeah, because we we practice um, at the one of their um, college facilities. Their field is where we practice at a lot. So um, we're right, we're right by it. Yeah, walking distance. Yeah, walking like, not distance. not right on campus, of course, but you know it's basically student housing. Like a lot of people gotcha. that we live around, um, they definitely go to the school. Gotcha. That's cool, though. I mean, it, it puts you right in the nightlife as well, I'm guessing, or, or things to do. Yeah. 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 And yeah. they don't, they're not typically like where they have like the dorms on campus, whereas like the college is kind of completely like separate and you go to the campus. So like a lot of the uh, living space out here is a bunch of apartments. Honestly, there's not really like a dorm itself. That's cool, yo. <clears throat> In terms of uh, opportunities, I mean, you guys want to share kind of what you think this opportunity provides for you and other athletes? Uh, yeah, I'll go first with that. Yeah, so as far as opportunities, I would say that, you know, I've I've seen, like, people that I played with last year actually going to coach in this league um, as well as coaching other, um, coaching other um, you know, like, out of the country leagues. So, you know, if coaching is what you want to do, like and you have the experience, you can, you know, find outlets to do that out here if you're willing to live in Mexico or another country in general. So it will help your resume. As well as most people, it's just really to get film. Like this is just another professional league that you can attach to your resume. So, you know, try to go up to a bigger league. Like we see the UFL, we see the CFL, you know, it's even – other people still trying to actually, you know, there's plenty of other professional leagues that people want, do want to explore, but we're just trying to, you know, get as much film as we can in this one, make a name for ourselves in this league, and, you know, if if that doesn't work, you know, just like a situation like mine, coming back is another, you know, is another alternative, like, to come back for another year after this. Yeah, and to uh, to piggyback on what he said, the film especially, like, knowing that, like, they pick up a lot of, you know, high-end athletes coming out of college, especially, like, you know, people that they said they've signed or somebody, like, for example, he's from Georgia State and I'm from a small D3. Like, I'm competing with somebody that, you know, they typically wouldn't see or expect. Like, ah, he's not really, you know, give or take. That's probably what they say or not. I don't know, but, you know, like, that opportunity in itself is to show like, okay, I can play with him. I can play with these people. I can play up to the level I can compete. So at that point, once I get filmed, they can see from a outside perspective, like, okay, he can play, he can do a thing. He can move up. Understood. All very relevant and real things. The film is crucial. I've heard that from many, many athletes that game film is needed and it's so hard to gather unless you get the opportunity. Right. So, in terms of playing time, do you guys have like a expiration date on how long you can stay there? I mean, I guess it goes by visas and such, or is the league actually got something in place where you can only play so long? Man, we got we got players in this league that are pushing forty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might not play as much as the you know the young grasshoppers that's in their twenties, but. They're in the league, you know, they still show the practice, show the game. But there's not really an expiration date for us, at least. Like, if we prove our worth and they want to invite us back and we agree to contract terms, we can come back every year and like, as long as they want to have us, really. Yeah. When you come through customs, though, I mean, of course, you, you have a, a certain amount of days you're allowed to be here. But, of course, we're here for the season, so they'll give us a amount of however long days we are for the season some. But – um yeah no the the age difference is definitely something i i i had to realize for sure because like sitting next to a receiver that's from here he's like i think he's like 30 and i'm like oh and then i like tell everybody like because i just turned 24 in february and i was like they're like oh and i'm asking other people that just got drafted and they're like no i'm older i'm like yo like so they also play like in college so they're like 25 and i'm like damn I'm, I'm the youngest on the team. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're the baby. <laughs> yeah. So. 
What do you guys kind of plan for the future? I mean, you can both kind of share with me what you what you think, but what what are we looking at? Are you trying to make it back over here for for another league, or, or what kind of what you're looking at? If I'm being completely honest, my eyes are set on the CFL currently. Um, you know, I've been working really hard trying to just get my eyes, you know, get an eye on me to at least get a like. You know, I've done the showcases, like um, he was saying, like for XFL and um, and for the CFL, and I see that the UFL, of course, is starting up. And you know, I would love the opportunity to just go up. You know, I love this league. I love that I've got the opportunity to come here. You know, and make my make my mark here. But you know, everybody's best interest is to go up, and that's what I would like to do in the next, really by next year, if not the next two years. I like it. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much in the same boat, honestly. But this also being my very first professional year, um, I know I'm understanding I have to get more film and I need film, and to you know really make a mark. I mean, it, it's possible that I could come back. And I wouldn't mind coming back, but of course, like anybody else, I would definitely like to move up UFL, XO, like not Expo, but uh, X League, um, both opportunities in itself. Like if I was able to, I would definitely take it. Yeah. I mean, very respectable guys. I just didn't know if you had a dead set goal. Um, I'm guessing I'll see both of your names somewhere next year for sure. Yeah. Hopefully you do make it where you want to be. Seriously. Yes, sir. We appreciate it. That about wraps it up for me, but is there anything you guys kind of want to share or talk about before we get off there? Uh, we get on really everything. Um, <laughs> we just, well, for anybody that's actually watching that does want a shot in this league, because I continuously have people reach out to me. But after the season's over, um, we're, coaches, it's, it's very rare that people bring back the same people, because this league wants new faces in it. So, you know, um, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm open to trying to help anybody that is looking for a home. So, you know, you can you can reach out to me and I'll put you in connection with the coaches. And, you know, if they feel the need to bring you in or want to talk to you deeper, then, of course, I'm willing to help with that. But this league, like I said, it is expanding and they are looking for new talent every year. So, you know, if that is the case, just reach out to me and hopefully I can help you find a home. Sure. Much I mean, he's a he's a big man over here, so you know, of course, what he said goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's about it, honestly. Why? Hey, fellas, it's been a good conversation. I appreciate it greatly. Good luck as your season unfolds. That that win last night was really good, though. And to be honest with you, that was the first LFA game I've sat down and watched live completely. And good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. Keep it up. And it's, it's enjoyable. It's very entertaining. It just, I just wish we had some English of just some degree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we can get somebody. Yeah, in the future, hopefully we yeah. can make it happen, man. Like two, two broadcasts, maybe. Um, Before y'all hop off, too, we want to say We thanks. appreciate you uh, having us, too. Yes, yes. Appreciate you guys again. I wanted to say thanks to the Gridiron Crew for yeah. hooking the interview up. Appreciate them. Great, great fellas over there. Gridiron, uh, yeah. I've had a lot of different athletes from them, and we, we just have this you know discussion. We just talk a little bit and get to know you. So appreciate them, and once again, appreciate you both. Keep representing America over there, man. The Black Roosters. Y'all got this? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got, we got no, no, I really, we really do appreciate you having us on here. That was a great opportunity for us to, you know, talk and let people know what's going on. But I appreciate that. For sure, guys. I'll have your your socials and stuff in the notes so people can find you easy. Uh, if, if there's anything you want me to add to it, just shoot it my way. You got my number. Okay. If right. anything, my tag Jaden the Asian. It's a pretty. <laughs> very tag name, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I first found that, yeah. I went and verified. I, I was like, "Man, I know this isn't real." <laughs> and yeah, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it's so perfect. It's a little catchy name, but has in high school, so catch that. <laughs> hey, we've all been there. I still got that old email address from from high school, middle school. I remember them days. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, good job, fellas. Appreciate y'all, and, and have a wonderful night. Uh, take care and be safe. Take care of your bodies as well.
Yes, sir. You too. Must need a must need a bye week right now. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Enjoy it. Don't eat Thanks too many so tacos. Much. Ah, try yeah. not to. Man. Gringos yeah. too. <laughs> Come over here and learn about some gringos. It's so good. That'd be good. <laughs> Y'all gonna have me Google unlimited bri- now. Bit, like video. No, I'm telling you, unlimited video over here. Is- Oh, it's sweet, bro. All you I want to know what this is. I really do. <laughs> I really do. What is it? Tell me. So they have like a million names for like certain meats. So of course, like it's in Spanish. So we don't really know what exactly which. But like Get you uh, a little horse, some dog. Yeah, you know, here and there, a <laughs> little little you know pizzazz, a little specialty. Yeah. But um, nah, Biri. I think I don't know. I. I don't even know what it is, honestly. I got so much of it in the states. Like, I thought it was steak or like. It reminds me of brisket, but it's just a or brisket. That's yeah, no, yeah. I think it's brisket. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, you get like <laughs> they unlimited. You know, like they have an offer over here in this little spot, and so you know, you get like quesadillas like that are oh, baby. Yeah, there, love it. I got this like soup broth. You dip it in, and it's like man. It's, oh, I know it. what you're talking about now. I got you. I got you. It, yeah, it's just I, I've seen the American yeah. version, definitely yeah, not the, uh, the Mexican version. <laughs> very, <laughs> yeah, very authentic, like we said, very authentic. Honestly, <laughs> man, appreciate y'all's time, guys. Enjoy y'all's time there. So you got to come back. It, 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 I'm a little jealous. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, hopefully we get you out here. Yeah, yeah. no, for real, get you. Some <laughs> well, we'll show you a great so. time. We promise. Hey, I for sure will reach out if I ever head that way. No doubt. Do that, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, thank you. Y'all be good, fellas. Have a good night. Yes, sir. You too. Bye-bye. Peace. I appreciate that. That was a good interview. Had a little bit of delay on the audio just because the Wi-Fi there is a little weird. Uh, But it's cool we got to meet up with them. I've had a couple interviews that didn't go right just because we didn't have service or cell service or internet or anything. So it's cool that they were able to do that. You can tell they, they really had to pull themselves away from the, the, the madness there and, and find the quiet spot. So appreciate them guys for, for meeting with me. Uh, that's D- Jaden and Trajan, both solid athletes. Trajan played at Georgia state and Jaden played at Brevard college. So both, on the little bit of different ends of the spectrum, but you can see how they found that opportunity down there in Mexico with the LFA. Uh, check out the LFA. If you haven't pretty easy to watch once they start streaming, it's all from YouTube. Quality is good. Quality is really there with it, but it's just, it's in Spanish. So if you can understand Spanish, Hey, that's, that's where it's at. But you know, the definitely don't need announcing for games. You just kind of mute it and watch it in silence, but it definitely helps when you want to know players and stats and names. So hopefully we'll get some more of that as we go with this league, but either way, it's a really, really awesome alternative football league and you guys should check it out. If you haven't give it a shout, a shot, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> uh, Tuesday, we got the UFL insiders, eight thirty PM central. So that's an hour later than what we normally start. This won't be routine, but sometimes when a guest needs a little bit later or or we have to move some things around and shuffle, we do this. So no problem at all. Check that out. We're going to discuss some roster updates, some news and anything we can talk about regarding UFL that isn't far fetched and speculative. Uh, I will drop the guest tomorrow on social media. So check for that. Good guest. I will say he represents D.C., and he'll he'll bring some of that DC flavor in here to discuss some things with us. <clears throat> as far as other shows, we don't have anything scheduled right now. Uh, the UFL season is upon us, so things are going to get a little busy my way. I know right now I plan on not being in town for the first couple weeks, weekends for the first couple games. After that, it should line back out where I'm I'm free more again. But definitely, we'll have some shows regarding you know weeks one and two, no doubt. Just got to get it lined out. Most likely looking at a Sunday and two or Tuesday after that, after that the games are completed. So probably Tuesday evening. <clears throat> so that's the UFL insiders guys. Remember this is the AFN interview series. If you're watching this, I appreciate it. This show is strictly made just to interview people in football. That's what we shoot for here. doesn't matter if it's a coach, player, a media person, anybody. That's kind of what, what it's about. So, 
As far as UFL insiders, you know that's UFL specific, and we talk UFL there. <clears throat> appreciate you watching if you watched. It, always appreciate the support, and uh, thank you for, for wasting your time with me tonight. Thank you again. <clears throat> Had some comments come in. Predator Couple. What's up, Predator Couple? How are you? We're almost there. I'll see you in Houston very soon. But yeah, guys, if you watched at home tonight, I appreciate you greatly. I'll have uh, the the links to Jaden and Trajan so you can find them on Twitter. Both good LFA athletes. Uh, they play for the, I'm going to screw this up, I always do, Gaios. Did I say that right, Mike G? <laughs> Gaios. They're the Black Roosters. So that's a cool team, though. They've got some unique team names and, and logos and such down there, which really I think is pretty cool because it, it really gives a different kind of cultural significance to the leagues that, that are down there. <laughs> Mike said close enough. <laughs> Paired a couple new mass. Upgraded mass. So Predator Couple has some new mass ready to go. They're upgraded from last year, I'm guessing. Sounds good, Predator Couple. We, I'll be looking for you, man. I promise. <clears throat> so, yeah, guys. Appreciate you watching. It's fun as always. Check the show out Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Central. I'll be there. We'll talk some UFL and have a good time. Uh, appreciate you again watching if you did. Thank you to the Gridiron crew. I appreciate you guys hooking me up with them interviews and, and contacts and athletes. I've met some really awesome players through their agency. So thank you guys again for trusting me with interviewing your athletes. It's a great pleasure. It really is. As far as AFN interview series, I'm not sure when we'll do another one just because UFL kicks in. So we'll see. Just want to put that out there. Predator couple section 116, they said. So they're in 116. Sounds good, Predator couple. Rice Stadium's going to look a little different. I know. All right, guys. That's it for me. Like, follow, and share, please. If you got some comments, comment in. If you want to send me a message, please do. I'll interact. Just busy. So don't know when I'll get to it, but when I do, I will. I promise. Uh, it's always a pleasure, it's always fun. Just going to keep on living, man. That's what we're doing. Thank you again for watching, everybody. It's always a pleasure. Good night. Go hard. Uh, go home. Go home. Go hard. Go home. Go hard. Go home. Go hard. Go home. 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 Touchdown like the end zone. When the circle turn to my home, can't get me out of my zone. Go hard.